great to be back here again, uh, such friendly faces. As you all know, I started out life as a professional drummer, and uh, that was great. What happened? Didn't make much money, but the fringe benefits were out of this world. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, for my next presentation here, yeah, I'm going to get Errol to be promoting my next book, Sordid Tales of a Hairy Drummer. So uh, <laughs> that's coming out soon. I, I was terrified this morning. Wasn't Jonathan great? You know, he was up there, and, and then he was saying all these things about ISIS and bombs, and I, I was terrified. I was thinking, someone else said, take action. So uh, I did. <laughs> You'll never get into America. Donald Trump won't let you back. If you're looking for political correctness, it's not going to come in this session. <laughs> okay, so we're going to be speaking about YouTube. Now, take a look at that there. That's just some of my videos. As you can see, they're 500,000, 300,000, 100,000. So I love. YouTube. I love video. and I'm just going to share some of the ideas today on video. I mean, that was less than 10 years ago. Those two guys started a business in their dad's garage, made no money for 18 months, and Google then came along and wrote out a check for $1.65 billion. The two guys that started YouTube. I wonder what YouTube would be worth now. Think about that. I mean, the guy from Snapchat turned down $3 billion. How crazy is that? If that was me, boy, the rest of my life, on a beach, Cuban cigars, single malls, you're like, fantastic. And then what, what happens? Somebody comes along, copies it, makes a better periscope. How many of us use periscope? Periscope is awesome. It is awesome. I tell you what, everybody should be using periscope. Uh, I just came back from a conference in Kuwait, and there was a guy there speaking with us. And it was a health and fitness conference. I do a lot in the health and fitness industry. And there was a guy there called Pete Cohen. It was quite funny when he put the garb on over there. Uh, he said, when I get back, I better not be putting this onto YouTube because uh, my rabbi wouldn't be too happy with that. <laughs> but what he does every morning, 7 o'clock, he does a periscope where he talks about leadership and he talks about these things. He has got a huge, huge audience because he's trained them 7 o'clock every morning. When we were in Kuwait, 10 o'clock he had to go out and do his live periscope. And he says people have got so used to it, he's picking up all kinds of extra business from there. So I'd say to everybody, go and take a look at periscope. It is absolutely awesome. What I love about it is you're having a conversation. While you're filming there, people are coming and telling you where they are. They're sending up the hearts. They're asking questions. Absolutely brilliant. Um, okay, I'm going to show you uh, some equipment here now. Some of you might have seen this before. The thing that I found about video is you've got to have good sound. I've seen a lot of great cameras. If I go onto YouTube and the sound is not great, I hit the delete button very quickly. So this is my little carry around camera. In my case, I've got one of my professional cameras. I've got three cameras and they're all great. I've got a studio at my home in Orlando. But this one goes with me everywhere. This is called a Zoom Q3. What I love about this, Zoom is a microphone company. Alan, you'd know this. They make brilliant, brilliant microphones. So this is actually a microphone with a video built into it, rather than the other way around. What I also like, uh, I don't like technical. So in the old days, we had to have a fire wire to get this and put it, which is just crazy stuff. This over here, you pull out the USB, plug it in, drag it across, and you've got your video. It's that easy to do. Problem with video sometimes is if you shake a lot, <laughs> that's what it's going to look like. And when you get on there, sometimes you are nervous, so you need a tripod. Some of you have seen my tripod. It's big, <laughs> clunky, and heavy. Okay, maybe only one or two. <laughs> what does that feel like? Oh, no, sorry, what's the weight of that like? <laughs> so this is my zip shot. This, uh, <laughs> <laughs> what I love about it, pull two little strings, away you go, and tripod. Isn't that cool? So that goes with me everywhere. I can be in a hotel room and I can be, no, no, I won't be making it in. <laughs> Here it is, professional light. It's great. When I'm finished, just fold it up. Now this is called the zip shot. That's the zoom camera over there, and that's the zip shot. Sells for about $50. Absolutely brilliant. You can put it into your handbag, a suitcase, take it with you. Switch a little light off there. The other thing is always, always get good microphones. Let's just 
can come and play with my equipment afterwards if you like. <laughs> you can take great videos with an iPhone or an iPad, but a great, great microphone. This is something called the iRig. Has anyone used the iRig? Brilliant, absolutely brilliant if you're using an iPhone. So a lot of us, I do a lot of professional interviews. If I go somewhere, all I've got is my iPhone. I've got this and I've got a little portable one as well. And it looks like you're doing a video interview with somebody. You know, get on, it's great. Uh, here's another little thing that I've got, a little stereo microphone. If I don't carry that around, that just goes with me as well. But also, if you need a good professional microphone, so we've got the camera, there's the camera over there. And in the old days, I used to run a cord because in my garage, I've got the full green screen studio. Now, this is a little product from Sony. I don't know if anyone's seen this before. But you plug one end into there, plug the other end onto your belt there, and it is fantastic. Great, great little camera from Sony. So take a look at that. You can come and take a look at that afterwards here. So get the right kind of equipment. Uh, by the way, that's my green screen studio in Orlando. Cost me less than $500 to set up. In one day, I made 52 videos. Now here's the thing, making a video for all of us is easy. We all speak all the time. The preparation took me four days. The preparation is the hard part, putting everything onto the iPad, the auto queue, all of that kind of stuff. That's four days. Post-production takes another long time to do, but you can just run those videos. I go in there, and uh, well, I was lucky I was wearing shorts that day. <laughs> <laughs> I've got those pictures as well if anyone's interested. No, but I have a rail over here, and then I have a whole lot of suits and different shirts and ties, so virtually I just go and I keep changing, and people look like it's different times and dates that I'm doing that over there. So the way I like to produce content is produce a lot of content and then just drip feed it out there all the time. Uh, by the way, if you want to get some professional studio backgrounds, go to that over there. Uh, if I go through too quickly for you to write down, because I go like a bullet train, just drop me an email and I'll send you the presentation. Uh, that way I'll also have your email address and try and sell you every other product under the sun. Uh, but <laughs> go and take a look at that there. That's brilliant. I think I paid about $100 for that. And I've got about, I don't know, 50 TV backgrounds. Now I can go in, got the green screen behind me, and I use a great little piece of software called Camtasia. And it's really simple and easy to use. I don't want to be an expert at all kinds of mixing and that kind of thing. I know about 5% of how to use it. That's all you need to know. All I want to do is get videos out there, get stacks and stacks of videos all the time. Some tools and software. Has anyone ever wondered how to download YouTube videos? <coughs> well, the TV producer gave me that. Go to savefrom.net. It is brilliant. You can take virtually any video on the net Get the little code at the top, put it into savefrom.net, and it'll download it for you. Simple, easy to do. Often as well, uh, one of my other cameras forms in a thing called TOD. So I had to buy a thing called a TOD convert. I mean, this is all way beyond my brains. So there's a little thing there called Quick Media Converter. It's free, will convert any audio into any other kind of audio, any kind of video, so MOV into WMV, all of that kind of stuff. It's free, quick media converter. Always, always use copyright free music. One of the biggest lessons I ever learned as a speaker, about 10 years ago, I pulled an image off Google and I put it onto one of my websites somewhere. I got hit by Getty, I had to pay a 4,000 pound fine. Biggest lesson I ever, ever learned. Just great work for that. <laughs> I should have had Graham working for me there. <laughs> but everything you do, use copyright free music. Here's a couple of places you can go. Morgue file. I don't know where they get their names from. Morgue file. I mean, <laughs> dead music. The Grateful Dead. <laughs> Weird. There's another one, free play music. Get some good music uh, stuff there. Another one, the music revolution. And one more over there, premium beat. So what do you put in to a video? Uh, a year ago, people used to say to me, how long must your video be? And I'd say to them, two minutes. That's the sort of time people, that's the attention span. 
Latest statistics from YouTube, the average watching time is 36 seconds. That's the average watching time. That doesn't mean your video must be 36 seconds. I've got a 55 minute webinar where people watch the whole thing. It's all about great content. By the way, don't make your video less than 30 seconds because YouTube only counts it as a watch if people actually watch for 30 seconds. I mean, here's the thing. Anyone want to know what the time is that you have to watch it on um, Facebook to see it as a three seconds? Three, I mean, how crazy is that? 30 seconds versus three seconds. That's why they're going, oh, we're getting all of these views. Well, anyone watches it for three seconds. In the first 10 seconds, tell people why they must be watching your video. We've got such a short attention span. Today, I'm going to give you three ways to close a sale. Just tell them what you're going to be telling them in the first 30 seconds. Have incredible content. Get into that content straight away. I mean, we can do the funny cats and all of that kind of stuff. We don't make money out of it. As speakers, we've got to get our content across there and always, always have a call to action. Is anyone using YouTube cards? YouTube cards are amazing. They came out about five or six months ago. So right throughout your video, go and take a look at it when we finish today, YouTube cards. You can have a little strip across, go click here to watch my other video, click here to go to my website. Down comes a full card, it's got all the calls to actions, it's got all the video links, everything. It's free, YouTube cards. Uh, and Michael knows a lot about it, he's a, a YouTube expert as well. So a little while ago, I thought, I love all of this video stuff. I'm going to go on a TV presenter's <coughs> course. There's six of us, we pay our money, we go on this, to Pinewood Studios. I think, yeah, I speak every day. I'm going to show these people. <laughs> Camera gets up there. Today I'm going to show you six ways to close a sale. I just do my thing. I think I hate that. The guy ripped me apart so badly I wanted to start crying. <laughs> <laughs> I realized I was doing everything wrong. Well, I didn't realize it until he told me. When I stand up here, I'm speaking to 80 people. When I'm on camera, I'm talking to one person. And that's what you realize. Every time you go onto camera, that would change to, you must probably going out every day, trying to close the sales and you're not closing them. What I want to share with you today is three ways where you close more sales. In fact, any social media you do, you're speaking to one person. If you're doing a blog, you're speaking to one person. One person is reading that. Uh, in your LinkedIn, about you. Don't go and put there, Paul Calvert, who's an expert, rather put there, how my name's Paul. Um, I specialize in helping financial services companies. I've worked with so many companies. I've won these awards. You are talking to one person when you're using social media. So let's see how we can use video uh, in our business. How can you use it for branding and in your business? Video testimonials. How many of you have got video testimonials? It is the most powerful thing that you can ever ever get. Video testimonials, incredibly, incredibly powerful. Uh, one of the best things the last time I saw you, I told you, was I worked with the Crown Prince of Abu Dhabi. That was a different story. I sent out an email, got to him. But the thing that I did at the end of the two days with him, I did a video testimonial, put it on YouTube, I put it on my website. Three months later, I start getting phone calls from all over the Middle East. We saw you working with the Crown Prince. Can you come in and work with us? Video testimonials, so, so powerful. So how do you get a video testimonial? So with a, a company recently, and they said, watch our video testimonials. And it went like this. Uh, yeah, and I've been working with this, uh, buying from this company for three years now, and they've really changed my business, and things are really happening. I said, who is that person? That could be a member of staff. You know, that could be a professional actor. I don't know who they are. There's no credibility. So the very first part of a video testimonial is the credibility builder. So this is where you say to that person, you've got 20 seconds to give your elevator speech. That's where they say who they are, what they do. That's the whole credibility that's happening over there. The next minute, coach them as well. You don't want them to be saying, uh, I had Graham coming in and he was absolutely fantastic, he was amazing, that kind of thing. Rather what you want to say, uh, since we've been working with Graham, our politicians are doing 20% more, they're getting 20% more votes. We've increased, we've decreased. So get those kinds of things. And then they finish off again with who they are and what they do. Now, I hope our sound is working here. So I'll give you an example of a video testimonial. Hi, I'm James Smith. I'm CEO of Smart Advantage. We're in Fort Lauderdale, Florida. Um, we help companies identify their competitive advantages, bridge if companies know what they are. We also find out for them through from their customers and prospects which competitive advantages that they come up with are relevant. 
Um, we've been doing this for years based on my two books, Creating Competitive Advantage and Relevant Selling. Um, because I am a speaker nationally and internationally and in other uh, couple of forums I'm involved in, I get to hear a lot of speakers as well as be a speaker. And I had the opportunity recently to hear Frank Furness talk about internet marketing, and I was absolutely blown away by how impressive this talk was in terms of having the most content I, I, I've heard in a lot of talks and a lot of uh, years of hearing speakers. Um, we all know how difficult it is to get our arms around this whole e-marketing thing and using social media and how to get out there. Well, Frank is the master. Not only is he the master, but he shares it in the best possible way to make it easy to understand, fun, and teaches all the things that you can do that aren't terribly expensive, but they can bring your business to the next level. I have to say, his delivery, his content, was some of the best I've ever heard, uh, and I've been listening to speakers for many, many years. So if you, in your business, get a chance to hear Frank, please don't pass it up because it can make the world of difference in your business. If in in mind, we've implemented so much of what he has taught us, and we still have a list to go because there are so many tricks of the trade that he's passed along. So I just want to say thank you, Frank Furness. I, I just think he was the best, and I hope that if you get the chance to hear him, you will. Uh, again, this is Jamie Smith from Smart Advantage in Fort Lauderdale, and I wish you the best of luck with your business and hope you can benefit from Frank's talk. So did you see how she followed that? Wow. <laughs> but it's just if you train them to follow that formula. Sometimes you don't have a lot of time. So again, I was with somebody, they're walking out of the conference, two CEOs of big companies. I just want a quick video testimonial and you've got it. Have your iPhone, just get that testimonial straight away. Right. Did you write the script for her? No, I, that one I actually asked her to do for me. I said to her, because I had to leave, I said, won't you do it? She did it herself. So I'll give you one just, uh, I'll, I'll do an off the cuff one here where I just had two guys uh, straight afterwards and I just asked them to do a video testimonial. Let's just uh, go back here. So this is another one over here. Just off the cuff, finished, said, can you do me a quick video testimonial, iPhone. seminar with Frank and it was uh, quite enlightening uh, to say the least. I learned, I thought I knew a lot until I finished the seminar today. I did very educational, a lot of information. Anything, you, anything you need to know about sales, marketing, online, technology, Frank Furness is the guy and I'm telling you this is the second seminar I've had with him. I learned even more today than I did last time. So again, Garrett Schaefer from my lab, general manager of our consumer business. Go with Frank Furness. David Auerbach, CEO of Kelly Co. Go with Frank. Just like 30 seconds, that's all you want, and you've got the credibility there. The next thing over there is staff training. I mean, staff training, anyone who's got staff, staff training is great. Technical explanations. Now, I do a lot of stuff on YouTube where I explain things. So like when YouTube cards came out, I make a video on how it works and how you can use it in your business. Put that up there, millions and millions of views. So any technical, every one of you is an expert in the room. Share that expertise. So there it was, how to optimize your LinkedIn profile. I'm not going to show you that, but what I am going to show you, well, hi, this is Frank Prunas, and in today's video, I want to show you the power of... Stop. Gee, she loves my video testimonials, so... Uh, and this is how a professional works on stage, just messing around with these, all of his stuff over here. Learn. Listen and learn. <laughs> But that's why I like to have it up here, because I can play around, move around. Um, so video testimonials, we've looked at those. Getting this to work here. There we go. Staff training. Meet the team. If anyone's got a team, meet the team. And I tell companies to go and video them, meet the team. So in one of our other businesses, I'm a partner in a financial services firm in London. We've got 30 financial advisors. So I said to them, Let's, let's video you. Let's meet the team. And I get the normal, oh, I'm no good on video. I don't want to be on video. So that's okay. Whoever wants to be on video, go on video. Yeah. Hello. My name's Mike. I'd love to do your funny. 
hello, my name's Jenny. I specialize in working with guys. And all the people are going, I love Jenny. Click on it. She starts getting all the leads. All of a sudden, everyone, I want to be on video. <laughs> PowerPoint recordings of your training. Every time you go, we haven't got time today, but um, take a look at a little piece of equipment called the swivel. The swivel is amazing. Put it over there, it will follow you around wherever you go, it will film it, uh, just a brilliant piece of software. How many of us have got a YouTube channel? Okay, everybody should have a YouTube channel. This is your TV station. Video email. I just do a big gig, it's absolutely fantastic, and then the, the normal kind of thing would be an email to them. Dear Mr. Sunset, thank you for hiring me, boring, boring, boring. Click, they hit the delete, they forget about me. What you do now, what if you do a video email? It's going, hey, this is Frank, listen, thanks so much for the conference. Uh, I had such a great time. I know you're not going to use me uh, again next year, but I've got one or two ideas, friends or speakers, drop me an email, I'll tell you who they are. In two or three years' time, please consider me again. Video email is fantastic for thank yous, for Christmas. What I've got is, I've got what I call a hit list. Ten minutes. Ten minutes left? Okay. <laughs> I thought it was 4.50, okay, 4.30, okay. Uh, so how long have we got? Okay, so 4.30, okay. So the video email, this is where you go for video email, iJot. Go and take a look at iJot, it is absolutely, does anyone use iJot? It's brilliant, absolutely brilliant software. That's what it looks like over there, you've got your picture, You've got all of your social media channels. Uh, looks just wonderful. CEO interviews. I'm going to go and do a big conference. While I'm there, I'll meet the CEO, do an interview, send it back to them. They put it up on their website. They love me. CEO interviews. Tell success stories. Frank, so we're going to say the, the time we've got to start going. You've got to 440. So have I got 20 minutes or 10? Uh, you've got 19. 19. Okay, so. Okay, so let me start again. <laughs> so I've got 19. Okay. I thought you'd like to know that. Yeah, thank you. I left my best bit for last. <laughs> Tutorials, how to. Anything you ever do, we heard earlier on, one keyword you put into everything is how to. Because most people Google how to get leadership tips, how to. Put how to in everything that you do. Products. How many of us here sell products? Great. Product demos. Here's the thing. I've got 22 websites selling different products. Uh, I have a thing called Simple Headlines. You've got to go and take a look at that. It is amazing. Uh, we heard there earlier on, get a great headline. This one, you're filling four lines. It'll throw out 100 different headlines that will blow away anybody. Simpleheadlines.com. Frank, the Q&A videos, do you say... Here are the questions that I'm often asked about, and then you give an answer to them. How do you do them? Yeah, well, often some people will say to me, so um, how do you put videos into LinkedIn? So that would be a how to put videos into LinkedIn, that kind of thing. Um, so product demos. So what I do with that over there, simpleheadlines.com, I go and do a review on my own product. So, wow, this is amazing. Look how this works. I put it up on YouTube. Of course, I don't tell them that it's my product. <laughs> 57,000 views. What are people going to do? They watch it, they click through, and they buy it. Do product reviews on your own product, your friend's products. Expert interviews with specialists in your niche. So I speak on social media. Uh, I was on a platform with uh, in a lady called Mari Smith. Does anyone know Mari Smith? Yeah, yeah. World's top expert on how to use Facebook for business. So what do I do? grab my camera and I'm just going to show you about 20 seconds of it, but I do stacks of expert interviews. There Hi, this is Frank Furness and uh, welcome back to Meet the Experts. As you know, around the world I meet some of the world's best experts and go to people. And today I, I always speak about Mari Smith, who is the go-to expert on Facebook for business and a lot more. Mari, great to meet you. You too, you too. I'm delighted to be here. I just love your accent and I, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I enjoy it by coming here early and get a wonderful connection. Wonderful. Mari, tell me something. I, I speak to business owners all over the world and they just say, 
why should I use Facebook for business? Have we got some tips for them? Sure, you better. So here's the thing, the Facebook... If you want to see the rest of that, go to my YouTube channel. <laughs> she will tell you when to post them, what to post, everything. So think about doing expert interviews. I mean, we've got 80 experts in the room today. Anyone's clever, you're going to go to that young lady and you're going to go and do an expert interview as soon as we... You're going to be inundated by the end of today. But we have so many experts in the room. What you're doing there, Nikki, you know, people should be coming to you and saying, how do you do that? How do you change? What do you do? Uh, leadership. How do you become a great MC? Well, you're a great MC, Jeremy. People come to you and say, well, what do you, I want to be an MC. What are some of the tips you can give me? We've got 80 experts in the room. Get your iPhones out afterwards and do some interviews. There's the other thing, um, videos for clients. So I, one of my specialities, I used to do financial <coughs> services, I've moved over to the CEO market, and my big market now is the health and fitness industry. Just landed my biggest job, which is in March, which is fantastic, for the URSA convention, 20,000 people. Isn't that gonna be cool? Eh? That's gonna be fantastic. So what I do now is I do pre-videos to promote that event. Do you think your clients are gonna like that? They're going to love you to pieces for doing it. And I know Nikki, oh, by the way, isn't Nikki doing the most amazing job over here? Yeah. Come on, round of applause. She is just out of this world. Just blows me away what she's doing over here. The, the London region, I promise you, is the best region in the world. I travel all over. I go to every chapter meeting, whatever country I'm in, and there is no chapter like our home chapter, London. So well done, everybody. That's great. Uh, <coughs> Things work. I'm going to be speaking on technology and how technology <laughs> works. <laughs> uh, and uh, Nikki is just absolutely fantastic. This is the best region in the world. I've spoken at every region, every chapter. This is the best. You've got to come to the London region. There we go. Hey. <laughs> no, but we are, genuinely we are. Now, how many of us are doing online training, selling our stuff online? I mean, this is the way of the future. Little story over here. Uh, I love shiny eyes. So, in an audience, I'm always looking at the shiny eyes, and that's what I focus and, and bounce off. There's a uh, accounting company in uh, the Gold Coast in Australia. Every year they book me and I go and they bring in all of the audience and I do a day speaking on social media. So the last time I was there, I see some shiny eyes. Three people sitting over there, the most gorgeous woman I've ever seen, not that I've noticed. Uh, her husband, this big hunk, and then this nerdy guy, big thick bottle glasses, but their eyes are shining. In the front is a guy who looks like a farmer. He shouldn't be there. He's got shorts and short sleeve shirt. Long socks and boots, but his eyes are shining. So I love stories. At the end of the day, the first three shiny eyes come to me and they tell me their story. The guy says, uh, this is my wife, her name is Emily, and she's gorgeous. I said, yeah, I can see that. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> he said she used to be a personal trainer. And we discovered she can only charge $100, she can do eight a day, so she's limited as to what she can do. So we decided we're gonna take her online. And we're going to put a course together called 28 Day Shred. So they say, well, a couple of things we've got to realize is, and again, Steve brought this up earlier on, where does your audience hang out? Who is your audience? Her audience is young girls 16 to 30 who want to look just like Emily. Where do they hang out? Well, they hang out on Facebook, they hang out on Instagram, and they hang out on Pinterest. They don't go anywhere else. They then say, well, Facebook is the way to go who's one of the world's top experts where we are? And they find a little nerdy guy with the glasses. He's a Facebook expert at Facebook advertising. They put on four posts a day. Every fourth post, as we heard earlier on, is the sell. The first three posts are just, just great information. Now, if you get a chance, go and take a look. Uh, her name is Emily Sky. That's her Facebook page. Uh, I go back there quite often to see the updates. <laughs> So shallow. <laughs> uh, I mean, take a look at that. Everything is video. <laughs> Replay button goes a lot. But uh, 
But it used to be, if Facebook used to be writing, then it was pictures, everything now is native video. By the way, you don't do a YouTube link to Facebook, you upload the video to there. That's the way you get more views. I mean, take a look at that, 217,000 views. Who's ever is that all you? No. <laughs> <laughs> I can dream. <laughs> Have a look at that, 11,500 people like that. 4,800 shares. I get excited if I have five shares. 4,800 shares, I mean, it's amazing. That's her Instagram, oh. That's her YouTube channel. Go and take a look at her YouTube channel. Uh, absolutely amazing lady. Everything leads into that 28 day shred. Sells for $60, basically. Three people. That's the business, using social media, the power of video, they net $7 million a year. $7 million a year, those three people. Mr. Farmer comes to me, and he says, uh, I used to be a plumber. I said, yeah, you still look like one. And so, <laughs> he says, but I, I play rugby, and my best mate is a personal trainer, so the way that we train, we've got a tractor tire, and we pull, we've got some straps, and we pull a tractor tire, and that gets our whole body in shape. So we say, what if we can make a system that simulates pulling a tractor tire? And they put something together. Where does your audience hang out? Who's your audience? YouTube, Instagram. They put it up there, and they've got a system called Anchor. Go and take a look at it. It's picked up by the Australian Army. Two guys, first sale, $1 million. $1 million. Power of video. They then say, we like all of the social media making money stuff. Let's come up with something else. And they do a, a thing where, let's do some PT training that simulates animals. And they call it the zoo. Go and take a look at the zoo. Put it up onto YouTube, stacks and stacks of videos on, now you're going to do the tiger and the alligator and all of this kind of stuff. Picked up by Virgin Active. I don't know how much they made out of that, but think about it. Every Virgin Active here in the UK is using the zoo. So think about your expertise. What expertise have you got that you can put up there? I get about two calls a week from people saying, how do I get more gigs? Uh, I'm an okay speaker, but I'm great at marketing. I'm always, <laughs> always marketing. How many of us are marketing all the time? Because that's what our business is about. We're in the marketing business. I just come back from uh, Australia 10 days ago. Last weekend, I was in Warsaw. Last Monday was marketing day. Have you ever had this where you sit and you just market? Just a market. And then Tuesday, I think, let me wait for the gigs. Nothing. And then I start to think, I think I'm a failure. This business is not, well, has anyone had that feeling before? And you're putting Wednesday, nothing. But again, we've got to realize, in our lives, we're so important. In their lives, we're nothing. They'll contact us when they're ready. Don't think they're going to phone you tomorrow. <coughs> Thursday morning, all of a sudden, gig in Melbourne. Um, I've got a gig in, uh, back in Warsaw again, and I just got a great one. I thought my year was finished. I, I'm going next week to Chicago. Somebody just phoned me to go to Chicago. Always, always be marketing. I picked up a great gig uh, to speak in um, Washington, and somebody that came from a YouTube video. If you haven't got your videos up there on YouTube, because that's the only way people can see you now. If they're somewhere far away, they're going to be looking at your YouTube videos. How many of us have got a showreel on our website? If you don't have a showreel, how are they going to know? I mean, how long should a showreel be? There's an interesting question. Two minutes. As long as it's good. Yeah. Content, only content. Quality of the content. Here's the thing, I've asked about 100 speakers and 100 event planners, they all give me different ideas. So what I do now is my one showreel that's on my website is five minutes. At the end of it, I say, if you want to watch a longer one, here's 18 minutes, here's 37 minutes. Because sometimes they do want to watch a full thing. So give them the choice. So I have a 5, 18, and 37 minute show reels. Give people the choice. Let them watch what they want. How many of you are on Udemy? Anyone on Udemy? Udemy is the world's biggest place to put your online courses. <coughs> Their top 10 tutors last year each earned over a million dollars. So whatever you've got, that's my course over there. How to prospect, find new business and clients. You can see I'm doing really well, naught out of naught. But that, <laughs> but that was the first day I put it up there. I've got two more courses I'm putting up there. The only thing you've got to be careful with them is they will discount your courses massively. So whatever your price is, triple your price, you knowing that they're going to discount it. You can opt out of that. Yeah, you can opt out of that. Yeah. But it's a great, great place to put all of your content. Another little story over here. Uh, 
What video can do for us is incredible. So February this year, I was referred to biggest company in South Africa. I do some research on the CEO. I'm going over there to visit my mom and everyone. And I get an appointment with this guy, biggest company. They've got five different divisions, huge, huge company. And I do some research on the CEO. I find out he's rude, he's ruthless, but I've got this appointment with him. And uh, so I go in and uh, let's just switch this on here. I go in and there's five, his five marketing managers from the different divisions are sitting in the boardroom there. They're like shaking. Oh, this is cool. Anyway, we wait five minutes, the door bursts open, in walks this little guy. No looking into my eyes, no handshake, nothing. Sits down and he says to me, you've got 18 minutes. Tell me why I should hire you. Said, what do you do when somebody says that to you? So I said to him, well listen, one of your divisions sells motorbikes. Imagine if one of your salespeople goes into a boardroom somewhere and uh, somebody says to them, tell us about your motorbikes. And you just go up and onto a flip chart, you can be talking about your motorbikes, everything that you're doing. And that's it. This is the world's small, I can go onto a roof, I can go anywhere. And that's when I'm selling, I'm in a small boardroom. Going over there, I had the guy's attention straight away. We sat for about another hour. Uh, biggest fee I've ever earned over there. And that's it. World's smallest little projector. And this is from a company called, it's a company in Dubai called Merlin. It's great. Put your little camera in there. When it's not being a projector, it now becomes a phone charger. Isn't that cool? Yes, yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, you put that up there. They've got some other great products. Um, by the way, uh, I am running a. Not that I ever try and sell from the stage, <laughs> but I'm going to withdraw if I don't. Uh, 30, 30th of January, I'm doing a full day master class, and uh, I'm not going to say you must come to it, but here's a, a lady that might tell you to come and have a look at it. Someone I respect a lot. Hi, my name is Joy Marston. I'm a professional motivational speaker, and I work in uh, education, and I work with corporate organizations, helping them to deal with change and challenge and personal motivation. Um, I'm here today because I, I, I needed to know more about social media. I needed to know more about how to promote myself through video. And when you want to do that, you go to the master. And the master, in my opinion, is Frank Furness. So I've been with Frank all day today, hearing about how to get seen, how to get your CEO sorted out so that you can get seen in the right places, how to use keywords, how to get your LinkedIn profile working really, really well. And I've heard some things that have blown my mind. Look, I've got tired eyes. And you know, it's been incredible. I've learned things that I don't think I could have learned any, anywhere else. This man is on top of this area. So if you're looking for somebody who to, who to teach you about social media, and you want to know all the ins and outs about what, what's happening in technology today, Frank Furness is your man. My name is Joe Marsden, professional motivational speaker. Thank you very much. So it's cool getting something like that from one of our London members. Uh, last little video, sometimes do a search on yourself and you'll be surprised what you find. I was doing a search on myself on uh, YouTube and this is what I found. Some guy ripping me off on YouTube. <laughs> I don't know if I should take that as a compliment or <laughs> what over there. Okay, again, just follow me on those there. Anyone wants to get a copy of today's, and I've got stacks of extra links, all kinds of extra information, uh, drop me an email. My time's up. Thanks for watching. See you all soon. Thank you. Thank you.